Hello everyone, uh, thanks again uh, for watching my another video. Uh, in this video, uh, I would like to showcase about how you can take the leverage of the native service for budgeting and planning for your AWS account. Uh, I was just working on one of my old uh, side project, you can say, on my test account. So this is my sandbox test account in Shermio. And I was just working on, and uh, one of the requirements I've come across is like, how do we set up like certain billings, like alerts, you know, like if I'm interested in setting out, hey, if my monthly cost goes up more than, uh, let's say 200 US dollars, then send me an alert by notifying, hey, that your cost is going up, please double check, are you running the services with the right compute resources and so on. So in a traditional days, you know, like if you have ever set up any billing cost, you possibly you will be going through the CloudWatch where you set up an alarm like I did in the past days, where you provided your metrics, uh, currency type, and then you set it up the conditions and the amount. And in this case, I just put it 10 US dollars because this is one we're just doing for a testing purpose. And I think I had a one video on my YouTube channel where you can actually look how to set up a CloudWatch uh, alarm and then once you try to configure the actions you have the options to send the notifications through the sns so in that case it was i was using the sns which is simple notification service from uh, amazon web services and here this is i'm just sending the notification to the email endpoint but you can do different actions like scaling up and down now this is a very traditional way of setting up your budgeting or you can say billing alarm alert it's good if you, if I'm making this video in 2018, but now we are six years in advance, so which is 2024, so I would say don't go for that option anymore. Uh, there is a better tool now we have from Amazon, which is budget and planning. So to go to navigate to the billing and cost management, you can simply click on your I'm user or role under your account settings and you will see the billing and cost management. Now it may be the possibility that if you're trying to look, this is denied. And it's highly possible if you are looking at your company's account or the company you work for or even the user or a role you're assuming, it may does not have the permission. So double check you have the enough IAM permissions on your uh, role or user to see those billing and the cost management board dashboard. Now under the budget budgets and planning section, if you click on the budget, you will see a screen like this. In your case, possibly it will be either no budgets or it may be more than two budgets which created by you or in the, someone else in the past. Now the beauty, I find it, it's really intriguing because if you simply want to just uh, want to notify yourself or to the team or, or to the company or your management or the anyone, uh, about the budget like hey this is our sandbox account or this is our production account or a staging account and we are spending xyz amount of money on weekly daily or monthly basis we should monitor it and take the actions ad accordingly now to create a budget you can simply just to uh, select two different types of budgets by default it supports so one is the using a template or you can actually go for the advance now if, if you go for the simple uh, simplified version of the budget, then in the template you will see that there is a four sections. One is zero spent budget, like which is just create a budget that notifies even you spent exceed uh, one cent, which is above the AWS free tier limit. Or you can send it up for monthly, daily, and reserved utilization budget, depending upon what's the requirement. So in this case, as I'm showing as a demonstration for monthly cost budget, and here you can see by default, uh, it's just ingested for me the $100. Uh, but if you like to change it to, let's say, $250 is the budget amount. You can actually just simply here provided the email addresses for your company or yourself if you want to monitor a budget for that account. So here, and you can actually add up to 10 email recipients or you can just create a group and then the group will have the multiple email recipients to send those email notification. In my case, I'm just sending to myself as an example. And here you can see, you can actually modify the settings if you like. So there is an option here to change any of these settings and you will see a 
bunch of more information. So if I'm just actually before I go down, so this is in my case, it's the cost of previous couple of months. So as you can see, my uh, September 2023 was quite high and I was spending the actual cost was like 215 US dollars and then it drops to 158 and then it was constant for a while and February is like we're not even halfway through yet so but it will project it that my cost would maybe forecasted around 250 again so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to close the budget preview and here we are just giving the name of my budget name which is my monthly cost budget and here you can select the period whether it's a daily monthly quarterly or annually so let's say we just want to track the budget of the amount of the account it's like should not go over 250 dollars now here they have the option of whether you will like a budget renewal type or you say expiring budget the difference is like the re reoccurring budget renews on the first day of every month while the expiring monthly budget stop renewing at the end of the expiration month so depending upon what's the a requirement of your renewal type you can just select it accordingly for this demonstration I'm just focusing on reoccurring budget now very interesting thing you need to see here the budget method like the budgeting method you can have a three different options like you can say hey this is my fixed budget that I cannot go over to fifty dollars as an example or you can say my planning which is specify your budget for each budget period so if you click on the uh, planned budget then you can actually put it let's say you're working for an e-commerce website where you have a high uh, volume of traffic comes up every uh, quarterly or when you put it a sales on and you know the sales are usually in either on the summer sales or the winter sales and let's say the December and the Christmas period it's always a very high traffic and you know the cost will always spike up because a lot more power of computer resources are spinning up the easy to containers lambdas and so on so in those cases you can actually put it like hey in december my average cost is two thousand dollars but rest of the month i will just going to put 1500 us dollars as an example so you can actually do that too but in this demonstration i'm just going for a simple basic fixed price which is 250 dollars and now here you can actually filter out the specification of the cost like you can actually say I just want to monitor the cost of EC2 or I just like to monitor the cost of lambdas API gateways or um, VPC NAT gateway or CloudWatch and so on so depending upon whatever the requirement you have you can actually just uh, start filtering out based on that I'm just gonna to make the sake of this video to be simply justify the the beauty of the two i will be just focusing on the budget scope with all aws services now here what we're doing we're not touching anything about the aggregated cost but you have the option of a multi size and the blended cost so if you would like to change from unblended to a blended cost so you can do that and you can actually just select it the different uh, charging type so let's just uh, for this advanced options for the time being we will not going to touch anymore and we will just leave it as it is now here uh, once you have actually set up your budget and you decided whether it's a weekly monthly and planned and planned there will be uh, three different alerting by default which is provided by the uh, amazon web services and what's three alerts are so if you just uh, i collapse you can see there is three of them alert number one two three but you can have more if you like to create and if you see notice right now we didn't configure any cloud watch alarm we are not setting up any threshold apart from providing the uh, the number of the our budget price which is in us dollars and we are not setting up any sns or anything like that it's a very simple service even a person who's not familiar with so many services of AWS can use it and that's what I like about it and here you can actually simply uh, provide it the threshold so they have set up a three by default alert for us and if you see the only difference between the three of them one is like the actual uh, and here if you see the threshold so first alert is about which should this alert uh, be triggered so it's 85 percent of the budget amount so which is going to be 212 so this alert only going to trigger when the actual cost is greater than 85 percent which is 212.50 uh, cents 
The second alert is when it goes reached to 100%, which is $250. That is 100% of budget amount. The last one is when you your forecasted cost is greater than 100%. So this is a forecasted, it is a uh, anticipation in advance, but we are not saying that you already did achieved that $250 of your actual amount. This is just a forecasted. So that's the third one. And now, depending upon whichever the alerts you would like to trigger, you can actually set up, you'll say, you can change the threshold to say, I would like to get alert when it's 70%. So that you have enough time to take the actions uh, actively and other things you can do you can actually set up the SNS alert if you like uh, if and e even if you say you like to integrate with your slack they do give you the options where you can integrate it with the uh, chatbot so you just need to install uh, the AWS chatbot and as an app in your integrated in your slack notification channels and then from there if you're let me know if you guys are interested in that part too i'm happy to make it it's it's not a rocket science anyone can do it it's pretty simple and you can actually just configure the chatbot and then what you can do is like you can actually create a private channel and in that private channel you just invited your management or the uh, the financial team members who's actually would be interested in knowing about how much number of cost we are spending on our resources and you can just simply just uh, start triggering the alerts or in the slack channel so they don't have to check the emails or or not need to come to the aws dashboard and so on the other beauty thing i will uh, i really find is the next part which is here so as you can see you can actually select it the action so let's say I'm setting up the alert for EC2 instance. Then what you can do, you can actually, uh, based on what sort of uh, EC2s you're using, you can actually perform some actions to scale up or scale down, depending upon your cost alerting. So here, if you see the moment I click on the action, and you don't have to provide an action, you can just simply just send the alerts and you're done, that's it. No, no rocket science, no nothing. Or other option you have is like you can actually set up the actions on it and depending upon I'm just showing as an example of 70% of my actual cost if it's greater than what you it will gonna do it will say hey uh, AWS budgets require a specific IAM permissions to run an actions on your behalf so firstly either you have to create an IAM role to perform that action or you can actually just uh, click alternative, you can create a manually create an IAM role. So just for the sake of this purpose, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna search if I have any IAM role. So I have uh, one IAM role here, which is called CloudWatch EC2. Now what this IAM role is actually have the permission is this, it have the permission to stop, or you can say scale down my EC2 instances if they are running over a certain period of time. So here, if you see, now it gives me the options which action should be applied when the budget threshold has been executed, exceeded, sorry. So you can actually put it uh, an action type of IAM policy, service control policy, which is the SCP, which apply to the organization level. And the third one is, would you like to automate instances to stop for EC2 or RDS? So let's say I just like to be stop my EC2 instance if it cross over $212.50 when the threshold reaches 30, 70%. And then I would like to just stop it because this is not my production account and I don't want to spend too much money. And then you can simply search for your region. I'm in Sydney, so I'm just selecting Sydney. And then you can select your EC2 instance. And here you can see the moment I selected the EC2 slash RDS instance. In my case, I selected EC2 in Sydney region action to be performed stop um, we are not deleting we are not doing anything we are just stopping that instance because it's running in my sandbox account and it's costing me money more than 212 dollars a monthly basis and i don't want it that much money to be spent on and here you can see do you want to automatically run this actions when this threshold is exceeded so you say no yes and other options you have how do you want to be alerted when this action is run use the same alert or you can actually put a different alert and you say use and then you provided uh, email recipient again again it will give you the option of setting up the sns or the chatbot 
So both are like a completely optional if you like. If you don't like, then it's fine. And that's how it done. So that's nothing uh, else. And that's the beauty. I find it. It's really, really nice that I don't have to worry about setting up the SNS alert. And uh, you maybe have wondered like, uh, oh, we didn't provide the SNS alert. So how it's sending up the email. I can just show you guys one of the example of, uh, I have one of my email. So if I'm just to uh, go to the budget and if I'm just showing here, so this is how does the email of the budgets looks like. As you can see here for my different account, here is saying, dear AWS customer, your request is that we have alert the forecast email address exceeds $200 and so on. And then you can simply click on the AWS budget link and then it will take you back to the AWS account. In this case, this is my different account. So, and you can still see these are my two already created budgets where I'm, you can see I provided, created one for daily EC2 budget and this is my monthly cost. So currently you can see amount consumed is $73 something and my budget is $200. And you can see here the forecast amount is currently $177 something. And so it's, you can see it's showing 88% is the forecasted value and the current value is 36 percent is already done and i have still almost 20 days to 18 18 days to fill up uh, so it may be going to increase at least i can track it up and that's the whole uh, session all, all about today guys like if you like it let me know uh, other thing which i have done uh, if you're interested in doing in terraform so i have actually created this recently so there is a, this infra public is my repository, which you can actually just find it here under the IMO share my infra public. Uh, and here you can actually find this. Uh, it's a pretty standard, simple uh, Terraform resource.tf file, which I have provided uh, basic information, nothing uh, like a complex or advanced at this stage, which is I'm just using a backend for uh, my S3. And then I'm actually just to uh, here yeah so I'm just using the s3 and then you just provided the resource definitions whatever the alerts type you like and that's it and then I just applied and created that alert or slash budget right now and here if I just refresh possibly I will see the budget and you can see this is my terraform state file which I'm storing in the remote in the s3 and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And this is the module. If you like to utilize this module, uh, have a look. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I will actually try to m modify so that I can include more information like uh, scaling down RDS and so on. And yeah, that's, that's it. I would highly encourage everyone, even if you are new or expert or an advanced level person, if you are using for your company uh, account or your own personal account i would highly encourage everyone it's a free service so you can actually take the benefit of it you can actually just to create a budget and start sending the alerts to your management so that they find impressive saying oh that's really good that we can track how much cost we are spending up on eks vpc ec2 lambdas i'm not sure whichever the service is used by your infrastructure team so give it a go and uh, i would love to know whether you guys enjoy like or didn't like about this service itself it's not a sponsored video it's just i find it's quite interesting so i'd like to share with everyone thank you